All right. So the first game was against players who had, I think, the same rating, Martinovic and Kuliats. And <clears throat> this position's equal until it wasn't. Now, in this position, uh, White started making mistakes. Uh, and the game ended quickly. So, as you can see, the, the, the Black Queen is on the Rook, and the Knight is defending the Rook, and White wanted to get his Knight going on the King's side, so he moved his Rook somewhere else. And he played Rook D2. And, of course, Rook D2 tempts Black at some points to play Bishop B4 with a Skewer, which does nothing now because I have queen c8 check and you'll have to move your bishop back to f8. So he wasn't worried about bishop before. So black played the very accurate h6. Now bishop b4 is a threat because after queen c8 check I could I could play king h7. Um, and then the rook is sort of silly. Okay. Now, in this position, the engine prefers black, even though white is up a pawn, because black has two bishops, and white's king is not as safe as it could be. Uh, this bishop is strangely placed, because, um, you know, this sort of double pinned. Okay, and white made the losing move. Knife f5. Knife f5 is winning, but not for white. So, black played the obvious bishop b4 and th this is bad because um if you play queen c8 check maybe that was his idea i don't know and then i go here um you can't play rook d1 which you could have played if the knight was still on e3 but he moved his knight off of e3 so his rook's attacked and he doesn't have either of these squares um, to go to. So if he plays, for example, a rook move that allows queen d1 check, he's going to get checkmated. So the only move that makes any sense that doesn't lose material is rook c2. It saves the rook and it stops queen d1 check. And, you know, if I was playing in a tournament, I might think I'm safe here with white. Um, but unfortunately, uh, we have bishop d3 in an opportune moment. Now, you could play it now and win. The engine wants to play preparatory moves, but this move does win. So, all right. But there, there's better computer moves, but we won't talk about that. Okay. Now, I don't know when white played knight f5 if he was considering after bishop b4 to play queen c8 and then he changed his mind or if he had this what he did in mind which doesn't work maybe he had it in mind i don't know um so he played knight h6 check maybe when he played knight f5 he thought bishop b4 failed to knight h6 it does not thanks felix frias for the sub and then, um, let's see, somebody else subbed and I forgot. Oh, yeah, TexMate39. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, this move doesn't do anything, so I'm guessing he thought he could play Queen C8 check and then realized it was bad, or he forgot about Bishop B4 because he always had this move and he forgot that I have left. I don't know. I don't know why he played knight f5, which is ridiculous after this. I, I didn't ask him. Victor Andre subscribed. Hooray. Okay. So he played knight h6 and black took. King h7 also wins. Queen c8 check. Always play bishop f8. Bishop c5. Now... Uh, maybe, maybe White saw this when he played knight f5 and thought he was doing well. Maybe. Um, however, 
the engine says lots of moves win for Black. So if that's what he thought, he was in, extremely wrong. But not only did Black play a winning move here, I, I find it quite brilliant myself. I do. Um, but yeah, I could see how White thought with the pin on the bishop on f8, you know, looks like White's doing okay here. Jordan Feinberg subscribed. Hooray. Mm High -hmm. chess TV. Well, taking the rook doesn't work as queen f8 check and queen f7 check. And only white can win, but I guess it's just perpetual. Unless white has a win, I don't see. Just 50 50. Mm. You don't understand why bishop f8? Always play bishop f8. Well, um, funny thing is, king g7 walking into discovered check is better than king h7, which is funny. And in, in, in any instance, white's going to play um, e6. So after king h7, which is not the best move, uh, e6 threatening uh, the rook and threatening queen h8 check, which will eventually lead to perpetual or mate. In this position, if you take the bishop, I simply take on f7, which is funny. And the problem is, I'm if you let's say let's like if you take my rook with the bishop, which is terrible, I play queen f5 check. Well, actually, I can play queen g8 mate, which I didn't see, but I saw queen f5 check and then promote to a queen with mate, which I thought was funnier. But, um, yeah, and you can't take with the rook either because of the mate. Um, okay, so in this position. The engine says the only drawing move is f6. Never play f6. Now, also possibly winning is king g7. Possibly. Then e6 check again. Thanks for the 999 you've seen my helmet. Then rook takes is winning as opposed to when you play king h7. Because if you take this, um, now queen g8 is not made. So we can go here, queen g8 and here. And you know, he queens, I guess. You take the queen. and White either has a perpetual or he doesn't. And the engine says he doesn't. And then black's going to be up, you know, a lot of material. So. <clears throat> and the engine says like plus 5,000 or something. So actually, king g7 would win uh, also. But bishop f8 wins more cleanly. Always play bishop f8. After bishop c5, black played a brilliant move here. Queen takes f4. <clears throat> and even though his rook is attacked and his bishop's attacked, um, queen takes f4, threatens checkmate. And it defends the f pawn. So if black tries to get if white tries to get luft and we play rook takes rook, we can't play queen takes and queen f7 check because the queen is defending. And after queen here, it's over. Queen takes f4 is really nice. So he took with check, king h7, and then he resigned. What's funny is white's up a pawn here, but black's threatening rook takes rook, black's threatening queen takes rook, and black's threatening queen f1 mate. And rook f2 doesn't help because of rook d1 check. So that was, that was pretty nice. Queen takes f4. I mean, the position was about equal, and then it was time trouble, obviously, because it was the late 30s. Time control, probably a move 40, and you know, Black took advantage and, and won tactically. Steven Zhu 10. Go Steven Zhu, but stay there. Um, etc. Yeah, King G7 seems to win too. Yeah. You know, so forth. Um, yeah, and there were there were a lot of uh games. I mean, it'll happen every round where there was a lot of tactical stuff. <sighs> Delicious. <laughs>